Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Legend of Eta Pegasus, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our character. Now, we did have a previous video to this where we started the game, got the first few levels, did some quests, got introduced to the kind of starter area and the starting town. And this game, I'm playing it on Steam. Uh, but you can also go to legendofeather.com to play this. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a Greek mythology-themed PC MMORPG with a nice, cozy anime feel. And you can check out this town. You get this cool, you know, top-down, three-quarters perspective. And I tell you what, they've got a holiday event going on. And they're playing Christmas carols as the music which is quite festive and i'm on the map pushing m to open the map i'm just going to go up to this temple area and see if i can either complete the quest i'm on or get a new quest to do or if i choose i might just go out and grind up fight some monsters get some money and experience and here's the temple here so let's just go in and indeed, uh, the priestess is here. Let's talk. Uh, would you like a blessing? Uh, let's talk about quests. Um, and I'm doing medicinal laurels. And she says, were you able to obtain the golden laurel leaves? And yes, I was. And uh, so I'm going to get some blessed soul stones, some gold, some experience. Okay, here you go. Oh, my. Oh, I must thank the gods for answering my prayers. Now I can complete the ointment and help those in need of medical attention. Thank you for your help. I will continue to pray for you and give you my blessings. Sweet. All right. So we, we completed this quest. And uh, let's see if she has anything else to say. Who are you? I'm the, the priestess, the leader of the temple. Um, okay, great. So at this point, you can press L to open up the quest log. And, you know, my quest log appears empty, but it looks like there might be a quest over here by Hina, the magic merchant. So let's go check that out, see if we can get ourselves a quest. And let me check out, too... She gave me these soul stones. What do these things do that transform into another item once used? Hmm, interesting. I do have some items here that are magical. I have these um, unidentified gloves, a robe, and even a cloak. So maybe I can get these ID'd. That would be helpful. Let's go to the magic store. All right, here we go. Hina. Welcome. How can I help you? Uh, quests. Delivery of magic potion. I made all the potions that Philip needed, but there is nobody who could deliver it for me. If you're on the way to Guyan Hills, will you deliver this to him for me? If I don't do it soon, it will be bad for my reputation. Well, I don't want anything to tarnish your reputation. I can certainly help. Leave it to me. Philip's at the outpost of the guy in Hills, so it's not going to be hard to find him. Okay, great. I could certainly do that. Now, before I do that, though, uh, let me talk to you about your shop. What do you sell? She sells a skill reset book, um, enchanting gear powder. It's so expensive, I'm not even close to that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to... Oh, I have some ID scrolls. Look at this. Um, I want to use this on this item here and let's see what this is so i've identified it and it is uh, just way better than what i have um so it's you can see at the bottom of the tooltip if i equip this sturdy worn robe it's going to give me physical defense magic defense will and evasion all will improve so i will equip it fantastic and then i'm going to um identify also, these gloves, I'm just right-clicking and it populates them in that box for me. And these gloves are, ooh, 
extra eight magic points. Yes, please. Um, uh, the bronze boots are already identified. What about this cloak? Okay, this is... Uh, but you have to be a fighter to use that. Well, that's... That's not helping me. Um, supply kit, cloth, muffler... Um, I can enchant something. I have a scroll to do that. But I think I'm good now. I have some... I've identified some of my gear. Uh, I don't think I need to sell anything. I'm good. Let's go. Alright, so the private housing area also has a quest um, from the House of the Greater Sage. So this says, uh, go to this dude in the hills. I can go there. Sure I can. My goodness, who trapped this bunny? How could you do that to that poor bunny? Why would you do that? Uh, I need to go down all the way and... Actually, I can get there going like this. So, we'll just kind of curl around right here. Alright, great. And this is the Great Sage, Marked. Greetings, young one. Have you come to hear one of my epic tales? Or possibly to help me sweep inside my home? Oh, not the second one. Quests. Marked, uh, Markard's Offer. A new face in town. I could tell that you possess an interesting fate. Oh, you seem like you have a question. So what would you like to know? Well, what's my fate? I would tell you, but I'm so hungry. Could you bring me some gleep meat before we start talking? I guess I have no choice. You'll do it? You're a generous man. You can get glet meat from hunting glets. They're located in, on the uphill of fear in Guyan Town. You have to uh, collect six pieces. All right, fine. I'll do that. How many do I have? Do I have any? I got worn leather. I don't see any meat. All right, we'll get this for you, dude. Sure, we can. All right, so I need to go... Yeah, this way will take me there. I need to go here anyway for her quest. Let me just go down here. Right by the merchant. The questionable guard. And here we go. Alright. So this... Uh, I've already worked with her. Let's see. These are palms, not glets at all. Let me see here. I am... They said I need to go to the Uphill of Fear for the one quest. And then this is where this quest is... Uh, and then maybe this is where I need to go at the outpost for the next quest. Let's go see if we can find these glets. We know they're around here. Don't worry about me, spotted palms and palms. I'm just wandering through. It's totally okay. Looking for glets today, not you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting into the right territory here. Oh, that's a glut. All right. Take that. All right, great. And gloves and marble. Okay, we'll take everything. Good. And we're going to go ahead and just target this up. Oh, you need a staff to use that skill. Well, I don't have a staff. Take that. Oh, these are definitely harder. Upgrade armor stone. That's sweet. I'm here for your soul, Glet. Alright, I'm getting hurt. 
Take it. Um, I'm gonna use a little potion there. I'm using my magic on you. You got no chance when I do that. Luckily, they don't aggro the second one. All right, what you got? Red marble. Oh, I get, I automatically get one of the meats just by killing them. Looks like I have five. Yep, six. Take this magic. It's beyond you. I know it is. Take the marble. All right. I healed. Alright, uh, upgrade stone, good. And quest item, just need three more. It crit me. What kind of an animal is this? It's too strong. Alright. By the way, you could just push Q again to take everything, which is super useful. It's me and you, Glet. I need the meat. And we did it. So now I've completed this quest and we can go back to town, but I also need to go to the outpost to finish this other quest. Uh, To Philip. Boy, this guy's old. Sweet. All right, so now um, I'm super, super close to leveling up, which is awesome. And we have another quest completed. We go turn in this other quest, go back, and we're going to be rocking and rolling. All right, everybody. Well, I'm just popping in to check out Legend of Edda during this uh, holiday time. And if you're interested in playing, um, I will have a link to Legend of Edda in the description below. Uh, you can play this through Steam or just through their website. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.